Y'all show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. Get away morning show with Johnny Domino and Big Dino. What's up with you? What's up? What, what's your energy? Your energy kind of low this morning. What's going on? My coffee ain't kicking in yet. I got oh, okay. up we need to we, we need to check that out. I usually get up about five. I was up earlier, an hour earlier today. You were? Mm-hmm. My baby don't have school today, though. <laughs> what's good, Dana? What are you thankful for? I am thankful for breath in my body. I'm mm-hmm. thankful for freedom. I am thankful for the health of my kids. Um, thankful for peace. Mm-hmm. Um, and being in my right mind. What you thankful for? I'm thankful that I can go vote yes to Amendment 7 coming up next month to end slavery. Absolutely. Louisiana is one of five states that got. Yeah. Man, look. Tell them about that, though. Explain it to the people that's out there that may not know what voting yes on that amendment means or voting no on that amendment means. All right. Because the word is tricky. Yeah. You know, it's tricky. So. Yeah, they, they try to, uh, even the Democrats are telling their own Democrats to vote for slavery, Dana. And it's like, I want, I'm really, I'm supposed to go look up and see who signed off and who was the responsible for that. Because it's so much flaky stuff in politics, man. They hiding it in language. They telling you vote no to it. When you vote no to it, that means you want you are for slavery. Um, the inmates in, in jail are working at two cents an hour, and some of them not getting nothing. They say working for free, but the prison is making big money on this industry. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Uh, like Dana say, the export is way higher than the import. They're exporting a lot of goods that these guys are making. So my thing is, pay them a fair wage. If, if we're going to be the prison capital of the world, you can go to jail here. This is the best place to go to jail. <laughs> you know, in the world, Craig. In the, in world. the world. So what I'm saying is, if, if you can, you if you want to get rich off these guys, pay them a fair wage. And guess what? Still keep what you've been keeping and stealing from them. You know, hit their money. But send some of that money home to them kids. Right. If you give them a fair wage... We can put some more money back into the families and to the children, man. That's why I always say free the money because they got a a, a, Come on. a strong grip on the paper. And they, right. they filthy. They filthy rich, you know what I'm saying? And they making money off of slaves. And, and, I, and, you know, it's surprising that how many politicians are still trying to hide behind it and tell people, yeah, vote, vote no. No, vote yes to end involuntary servitude. In it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's bad about it, D. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, we're speaking about that, you know, uh, October is the month of uh, the prison rodeo. Mm-hmm. So just imagine how much commerce goes into that rodeo. And it's Burkane, always sold out. But Burkane, um, you know, established that. One thing I can say about Burkane, he, make, he was over, he was the warden, mm-hmm. but he was definitely one who gave his inmates an opportunity to be outside of prison like they put here he implemented a lot of programs to educate them a lot of programs for job entry you know jobs they, they have degrees in there a lot of them some of these um institutions don't have programs for that like they have actual doc institutions like uh hunts that were supposed to be built on corrections you know apps a- actually corrections with rehabilitation programs built in it and DCI was another one. Hmm. So it was only three in the state out of all the prisons, only three in the state that had rehabilitation programs. Now, I know with COVID, a lot of them um, lost those programs. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of them lost um, staff, period. So now those programs aren't up and running. So you have people that's idle. 
right. that's sitting in there. So, you know, they all upset. They don't have visits. They don't, you know, they can't visit. So you so saying Burl Kane a good slave master? I did not say he was a good slave master. <laughs> I knew you was going to take it and do that. Shit, what about the black ones that's from wardens in these prisons? Come uh, on, like, that's that's look, that's not what I'm saying. Look, I said Samuel he gave. Samuel Jackson, who he played, uh, what's his name? He played uh, Stephen. Uh, Mr. Candy. <laughs> Them black ones ain't no better. No. What I'm saying is, he at least he did programs for when them men leave Angola, that they had an opportunity to make money. Uh, I, I sat and talked. I had some I have some uh, old gentlemen friends that did decades mm -hmm. in the prison, and they were telling me that all the places they've been to Angola was the one that they preferred because they were they were able to not stay idle. And you go in the dorms, you're gonna fight. It's gonna be, you know, Angola at one point was the bloodiest prison in the nation. Mm -hmm. So that, that's they spoke highly of him. You know, they they made the best out of whatever situation they was in. They had but no choice. They, they had no choice. That was life. That was their life. But no, I was not praising him for being a, a good slave master. <laughs> I was only praising him for the fact that he 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 thought it through about. It. And that, that wasn't for them either. That was also to build the commerce inside the jail. Yeah, he was a rich ass nigga, yeah. man. Nigga, that nigga found a loophole and got it in the Constitution. Come on, him. And uh, I mean, I, I don't know, Dana. I, you know, the, good, the, the question I would ask some of my people is if you had a chance to get thousands of employees. That's right, free Corey. <laughs> thousands, yeah, free Corey, man. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> My dog, look, yeah. if you had a chance to get thousands of slaves to work for you, what company cannot thrive with paying somebody two cents an hour? Right. You won't even need a loan for your company if you ain't got to pay your employees but two cents an hour. Right. Man, I'll run a campaign and hire 300 people, and then they'll be everywhere for two cents an hour. Think about that. How you cannot lose? I don't think, I, I can't do it. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I feel bad for them people. You done work 10 hours and I got 20 cents for you? Yeah, that's that's nothing. That's how you get yourself robbed or hit in the head. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hang on your 20 cents. Boom. Hit him in the head. Go on, get him up out of here. That's, what, that's, what, that's where robbery come from. The disrespect. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie. Every job I had that ain't pay me right, I paid myself. Oh, you stole. Yeah, you stole Fuck or made a hustle out of it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that one I ain't worked for nobody since 08. Because guess what? I, I had to ask God for giving. Good morning, Todd. Get that little check, man, two, four hundred dollars right. That's my check. I appreciate that. I got the rest, though. Right. Ooh. I've been around here long enough to start taking shit. That one I don't work for nobody. I gotta, I've got been asking God to forgive me. I don't steal no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm recovered. Redemption. And Redemption. I don't. <laughs> Redemption. Look, I'm talking about in the plant. What you steal in the plant, man? With sticks for the, for the welding machine, rig, what? Duct tape, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you just a thief. Not no more. <laughs> I'm telling you, not no more. I'm recovered, man. Nick Marquise down one mile. Right. He said he do his two miles every day. Oh man, Just got shit. The with my kids. man! I ain't running nothing but my mouth, man. Goddamn, you already know. You talking about walking? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll go walking. I'm not running. I'm oh no, ain't nobody for to do no running. Yeah, man. I, I can't. I can't walk up the steps fast. But I ain't gonna even talk about that. <laughs> 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 be big time. <laughs> Out of breath. <sighs> Winded. <laughs> Get up the stairs, nigga. Trying to talk to you. Oh, wait, hold, hold up, up man. <laughs> <laughs> I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Getting older, motherfucker, man. I want to talk about this, Dana. Um, <clears throat> over. I don't know if it was just. I don't know if my eyes was just picking up on it, but you tell me if I'm tripping. The majority of these, the crime that's happening in Baton Rouge and the murders, I've been seeing 16 year olds, 16 year olds, yeah. 16 year olds, 16 year olds. Can anybody deny the claim if I say uh, that's a direct reflection of our education system? 100% a direct reflection of the education system for me. <laughs> and, and that's something that you, so you and I didn't even talk me. over, yeah. over you know, yesterday, not Saturday. We did get a chance to hang out a little bit, but it was in and out. But that was riding, and I was saying we really need 
this person to be back on the school board because when this person was in, we didn't have that. You know, um, giving a person a chance with the school system or politics, letting politics run um, Look, our our letting Trey. politics run our right. Um, yeah, my mama signed that paddle yeah. card. Trace, they bring yeah. back bring back uh, prayer and uh, paddling and paddling. Yeah, but no, the, the, the mamas want to come up there and dictate how the people going to handle their kids at that point. And we did some of that. We, like a the, lot of the, it. Like, I'm not saying directly me and you, but the Our people and, and uh, the, the upholding your child and then fussing about this, fussing about that. And like like uh, one of them coaches said, he said, y'all let us curse you cheering out for a Friday night football game, but you won't let a teacher who, who got to teach them something other than football tell them nothing. And I, I be want to tell you little guys, man, going to the league is like a football number. When you catch a child and he say, all I'm going to do is go play for the NFL, it's a lottery. It's like winning the lottery. That's how the numbers set up. You everybody want to be new, the, the new young boy. Everybody, yeah. you know, everybody inspires to be young boy. He made it, you know, from the ghetto. He didn't finish school. So that's an aspiration for them. You know, that like he's, he's, a, he's an idol to them. Mm-hmm. You know they 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 love young boy. Even if they don't like him, they like him. We got rap, fentanyl, and uh, football or basketball. That that's the, that's the four hopes of a black child. Uh, dope, uh, the dope game. Yeah, I said fentanyl because uh, I know they hate fentanyl. Yeah, but fentanyl will always have a problem because you won't let me get the business loan. If you let me, if you teach me how to get a business loan and black business owner. Y'all look so attractive in your nice clothes and your new car. Give back. In your big old house and selling motherfuckers the game. <clears throat> you done figured it out and now you selling it. Now I ain't mad because that's a source of income. But guess what? The economy thrives off money. If, if the motherfuckers ain't got no money to spend with you, you can sell whatever you want. It ain't gonna work, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got to bless some people and then guess what? You Don't- right, Sheldon. I'll be in the barber. Or being a barber, yeah. for real. Yeah. For real, because guess what? That ain't going nowhere. That's been a no. hidden treasure. Bar. And they keep trying to Half change dollars. that, uh, what they call, apprenticeship program. Uh-huh. Y'all better, if y'all going to go ahead and do that, and go ahead and get your, your, your shit together and go on through that apprenticeship program while people still do it. I know my brother O'Neal at O'Neal's Barbershop, he stayed letting somebody come. He let me did it. It was too slow for me. I want let, let's shout out O'Neill. And I know that's kinda going off off subject, but I wanna shout out O'Neill. I, I didn't I, I have not known this brother a long time, but I hear you talk about him. I hear other people talk about good things about him. Um one of my homeboys is also partnered with him for line for line. Mm-hmm. Like he has a lot of productive stuff that he is doing. He his his heart is for the youth. Because of how nothing. he grew up. And exactly. I would have never guessed that. Would have never known that. But his 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 name was in um, the mouth of somebody who praised him highly. He he's about to do some um, major major stuff in 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 our neighborhood in Easy Town. So yeah. shout out to O'Neal. Yeah, he and then guess what? I'm gonna tell you something. He started early, and he's seeing the the, the results, and he do all that shit by himself now. Thank like, you, Sheldon. He got help here and there. I ain't trying to shit on nobody who've assisted him. Right. But when I tell you he's figuring it all out on his own, he 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 he, he been there and helped put the floors down with his daddy. You know, I, I, O'Neal might have been on Acadian for uh, over twenty years. Oh, I know it was over twenty, because <clears throat> yeah. I left there. I was I was in the shop behind him, and it's been 20, 21 years since I've left there. So he's been there a long time, and he mm-hmm. was there like two years before I left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm proud of him because. O'Neal, this, this is why people don't understand Neil, right? Neil was a gangster child. Like, he was gangster in elementary school. Like, anybody who know him, they'll tell you they went to Meridale or anything with him. He was the leader of the bullshit in, middle school, <laughs> in elementary school, right? He had thug elementary so hard and got so far behind, when he got to middle school, he was trying to change. Right. But when we met, I was trying to jump off the porch at Glen Oaks Middle. You know what I'm saying? So he was trying to chill. So Neil always been like my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Because he had been been through the riff raff, and I'm like, man, I like riff raff. I'm ready to start doing stupid stuff. I need attention. I ain't got no money. You know what right. I'm saying? But he was like, nah, man, chill out. We can beat him up after school. You ain't got to get suspended. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, fuck that. I got to do it in front of everybody. A smart G. <laughs> <laughs> he is, man, but he did come a long way. 
And I ain't lying, like the conversations we be having now, we really have all changed. One day about five of us jammed up. And it's crazy how life will change you if you survive. That's yeah, what people don't it's understand. The grace. It's the grace though. Everybody I was just as ignorant. Thing. I was just as ignorant as y'all. I was just as stupid and tripping and, and worrying about the wrong thing as y'all. But me bumping my head so many times, man, I had a, I had a, <laughs> I ain't gonna say who I had a conversation with. I had a conversation with one of the realest niggas I know in, in life. Like, you know, this nigga is the real, like, you remember how old nigga little Bumpy Johnson? Yes. I love this grown man like that. This nigga, okay. I call this nigga my father before I call my real father my father. My daddy. It's my daddy, man. All right. But it's my OG, man. It's my big homie. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> that nigga say, man, man, you don't get your fan out the hood and get the fuck from around them niggas, man. <laughs> he say, man, look. He say he done gave the streets everything. And them motherfuckers ain't never did right by him or never gave nothing back, man. He say, he ain't saying be dishonorable, but he say get as far away from that shit as you can, man. You in the streets. Yeah, and fuck them streets, man. But, you know, the streets, bro, I'm going to tell you something. The streets been like the biggest, the biggest letdown I ever had because I still live by code. But everything that I was raised on, everything that I believed in, Ain't nobody living off that. No, the game changed because I, I, we just go back to the OGs not <clears throat> pouring into the youngsters because you know every generation is 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 a mirror of the generation before them. So right now we on the third generation of us, you know, and it's it's out of hand because nobody decided to to you know pull the coattails of of the youngsters coming up. I mean, we was we was around that mother. We, 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 when we had kids, that was the beginning of the pill era. <laughs> jiggers. We was jigging. <laughs> so Can't it's like stop jigging. And look at these niggas. Look at these. Look at, oh, I like that song. I like that man. That bit hard, man. That boy hit my ear. I couldn't. Even, I know it hit when I hear one, man. But I'm, I'm telling y'all, check this out, bro. The street is it's impossible <clears throat> to be. It's like being having all white on. Being real in the streets is like having all white on at a at a uh, a mud fest. You know when they be in the bound to get dirty. Yeah, you you. It look, it's like trying to keep all white shoes on in the desert, clean, running through sand. That's what the street. Come on. Being a real nigga in the fa- the streets are fake. First of all, right? Niggas say I'm in the streets, but you in a fake place because if you in, you keeping it real. How many motherfuckers around you live by that law? I done seen the laws destroy good dudes, bro. You either going to jail or you going to die. And they say that shit so cliche, but this the thing. The fake survive longer. I see these rat niggas still booking niggas, still out here taking pictures with niggas. They, they still moving and grooving like don't nobody. That dude there got the, got a better chance than a nigga keeping it 100. I, I, I witness. I kid you not. Rest in peace to Big London. Sure. See, back in in I, I can't, like the year Real. the year of 2012. You know, Nissa died in 2009, mm-hmm. but I was just getting you know getting shaking my depression a little bit, you know. And I remember so much happening. I got sick in 2012. I was hanging with people. You know, I was Molly Wiper. Mm-hmm. I loved Molly. That was my thing. Oh my god. Ooh. Molly, oh. Molly, and and and, and, and good kids, dollar, Miss Molly. And kids do not do, do drugs. not do drugs. We did them for you. Don't do drugs. I wouldn't do them now. I thank God for not. I would not do it now. I'm not gonna tell you fit, how much I like for the Molly. Fit now. But I, I'm drug free now. Yeah, very much so drug free. <laughs> I barely even drink. Don't uh, do it. You don't know what it's gonna do you. Yeah, but <laughs> my thing was 2012. I ended up sick and. A lot of people that I had the utmost respect for and would probably, if they go to jail, I'm a Joseph with my Nikes on. I'm a mm-hmm. one form, you know, because I love them. Man, I found out how many people were fake. Oh, yeah. Broke my heart. That's when it comes. 2012 broke my heart. Not just for me, just seeing all the flaky and fake stuff. Like, I remember me and, me and, me and uh, London sitting there talking. I was saying this person, this person. He was. I was like, man, this that, that broke my heart. It, it hurts you so man, bad. Man, that really broke my yeah. heart. And that, and and that changes you. You see people now. It's not. Hey, what's up? 
You barely got words for them because I know what your jacket is now. Mm, and I can't me. rock with you like that. Because you be living like that and you be pouring your all in. Look, look at Ghetto Ways watching you. Hey, Ghetto Ways. <laughs> What's up, Ghetto Ways? <clears throat> um, Dana, I've been let down. I'm talking about they had some people, man, I argue with a nigga about. Oh, he 100. Oh, I know he'll never do nothing. And yeah, he, he like that. And man, I'm, I could tell y'all this story now, man. I'm gonna tell y'all this story and it, and it hurt. And, and God rest my cousin soul. <laughs> he still died, right? Go no. ahead. This this fucked up. And it, this I'm gonna tell y'all how much I live by the law. And I'm not. This man, yeah, go I'm ahead. not proud of it. I'm, I'm I feel bad because my cousin did, <laughs> right? <clears throat> man, some shit happened, and we were trying to figure out who told. They know I ain't told. So nobody was looking at me crazy. We know the other home ain't tell. And then we know the other home ain't tell, right? Right. Then my little cousin, he was just like nervous and tripping. And, and then then he got questioned. Nobody else got questioned. Then niggas start going to jail. So it was two sides. It was my side. And, 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 and. So <clears throat> they come to me. They said, hey, man, we think your little cousin told me. I say, check this out. If that nigga told man you got to handle your business. No, man. And I say, but make sure you got him right. Because if you ain't got him right, I'm coming for you. You heard me? Long story short, it was the big gangster that had said to me. Uh huh. The nigga my age. You know, uh, you know? Always. And, and. The one who say they ratting is the one who really ratting. And I ain't find out till I went to them niggas' trial. And all the young homies stood tall. You heard me? And then, and then the, 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 they got on on stand and and they say, well, where you get the information from, detective? And boy, they called my nigga name. The only thing we got is from this nigga. And I'm like, man, he's one of the realest niggas I ever known in my life. Dana, wasn't nothing safe if you played with something, you know. Uh, we had weak homeboys who wasn't like that. He ain't give a damn. He loved them. Nobody better not play with our scary ass homeboy. Yeah, they scary, but that's how a homeboy. <clears throat> they good niggas. You know what I'm saying? They good mm-hmm. people. Like they wasn't they wasn't with the bullshit. But they was good and people. And they stayed in their lane. Dang, I literally had to apologize to my cousin for about seven years, and he still ended up getting into some, some other shit because he was hard headed, and he got killed messing with another nigga business. You know what I'm saying? He just. He wouldn't listen, man. He, right. he was one of them ones that kind of knew it all, and he he rubbed it in all our face, and uh, he rubbed it in mine because the the nigga who told was my homeboy. And see, people don't understand how deep these wounds go, and 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 because you know, I vouched for you, <clears throat> yeah, I I, I I entrusted a lot in you. Mm-hmm. So when yeah. y- when y'all see me going against all rats, just know I've lost a lot of friends. I've cut off partners. I cut off partners who still fuck with those type of guys, man. See, Radden still ain't, even though I'm telling you don't ever get in the streets, if you don't listen, don't be a bitch. Right. Stand up, my nigga. Like, take your lick, dog. You go and live with men and it's going to smell like feet where you going. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, you know, the, the, the you ain't going to see no more. You, you might see a free lady here and there, but but you got to decide if you're going to be, uh, if you're going to handcraft your shit or go to the cat house. That shit ugly, my nigga. I don't know why nobody really... If you ain't trying to get no paper, I don't understand none of this other shit. Like, I can't stand up for no nigga who just like, yeah, I'm trying to catch me a body, trying to catch me a hat. For what, my nigga? That's, that's because that's in their mind, that's, that's, that's the gate to get, way to get re- recognition. I see this hand in hand when I go on these crime scenes, you know. It is is it's heartbreaking. The fuck you talking you about say, it? Cause it is. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's a tender subject. But look at how much they paid that little that little dude. The little girl paid the little dude. You know what I'm saying? I know that shit was tough. Is is is. But imagine you, know, you not being in your son life and somebody able to call your child and tell your child come knock something off for of like sixty. What sixty dollars? Mm-hmm. Imagine a me phone call. Imagine me being locked up and somebody call my. Yeah, and, and my son ain't intelligent enough, or I didn't school this nigga enough to where he'll go take a hit. The shit was sixty dollars, Dana. That's the worst. That's your education level had to be low because obviously you don't know math and you don't know nothing about life. Then you you caught a ride. Phone, you yeah. caught a ride and didn't have a no, ride she back. Paid, she paid the Uber. Yeah, but you didn't have a fucking ride back. Yeah, stupid. you didn't have a plan. You didn't have no good thought process. You you couldn't make calculated decisions. 
And then this was over. This some bullshit. At some point, you some your kid got to know whether to be man. I'm not being. That ain't cool. That's pussy. That's fake, man. I'm scared of a motherfucker there to do something to their own. You know what I'm saying? If I ever was around a nigga and I see him snake his family, I know I ain't got a chance. You see what I'm saying? And then niggas won't run from it because it's sensitive. But these fucking children watching this shit, man, they be sitting up here watching this. Check this out. Man, dog, I can't tell you a number that's worth me going to get a hat right now. Now, I'm going to tell you what's worth me getting a hat. You running up on one of my kids. You try to, you can try to hurt Big Dane. I'm going I'm to fuck over you. You understand what, me, what I'm saying? Anything other than that, man, 10 grand ain't enough. 20 grand ain't enough because I need 30 to pay my lawyer to beat the case. And then I know I ain't finna get no bond because it's finna be in the million. You know, I done seen my son homeboy. <clears throat> and I'm a, fuck it. I, I say what I say twice, Dana. My son calling me on three way, his homeboy. Yeah, man, bond, 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 bond. Bun, 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 bun. Now, he don't know. I done been through this shit millions of times. Right. Right, nigga. I am the subject matter expert on this shit. I know which lawyers to call, who your judge is. I, I know this shit. You understand? So, I'm going to tell you, you got to go to him with a white a white lawyer. He don't like black folk. You feel what I'm saying? Trey a lawyer. What she say? And we want all 30 up front. Because... I'm not finna start on this case and your family ain't got this bread. There ain't no little chunk of change. No, it hell ain't. She work at a lawyer's office. Trey work work with right. lawyers. She know what she talking about. Check this out. If all if 30 is for Tommy Domenko, I fucking say it. The 30 going to Tommy Domenko to make sure he got everything he need to whoop this shit. To beat it. So if a nigga gave you twelve hundred dollars, homie, you you could have you could have gave blood and been stacked that up. You know what I'm saying? You could have did something else. This is what I'm trying to tell you, young homie. That bullshit, and then a lot of y'all doing it for the same reason I used to fight all the time is because I was poor and dusty. My mama had to put layaways on their wieners, and instead of niggas teasing me, they ain't fuck with me because I punch you in the nose. You see what I'm saying? Right. You doing it because you ain't got no motion. You ain't got no chain. You think that shit valuable? A lot of them niggas got crystals in the motherfucking chain. You know what I'm saying? If the diamond test the fake, it's going to go off whenever the fake ass hit, hit anything. You put that fake diamond test on this motherfucking uh, Echo or this book right here, that bitch gonna go off. Let's talk about it. Because the shit y'all are doing all this shit for ain't worth a quarter, dog. You not finna tell me go take no nigga life for nothing under 30. And then 30 ain't enough because that's time and Domenico money. So let's say the nigga got 100 bands on the nigga. That's what Patrice just said. (laughs) Patrice said she, because you know who will tell you give me 100 bands in a suitcase and I'll make it disappear. And, and you, that ain't talked about. That ain't talked about. You know, but. And then, like, y'all don't even understand. It's a, they, they using you up because they can't afford the real deal. Let's just be, let's just be honest. They got some, they got some proficient niggas out here who really know what they doing. I don't know who they is. Or I ain't saying this, this, and that. But I know, I know a place you can go and get anything done and it's going to get done properly, but you got to pay them people, right? They got, they got people out here that do that, right? Boom. They paying you because they some of these old niggas are scared. Some of these fake drug dealers scared. Some of these niggas been lying so long that drama finally hit their porch. And they try to use up the youth. That's why you keep seeing 16-year-old, 16-year-old. Your mom and them ain't got that much bread. You ain't got no hustle. And even when you get money, you don't know how to maintain money because you too you want to hurry up and bring. Some of these niggas are do it just to spread another nigga money on Instagram. Boy, you bullshit. I'm telling you right now. And and then guess what? Man, we, there's so many of us locked up, Dana. We, we got to go make extra moves for our homeboy cheering. Because them dudes, there, man, imagine if a nigga tell one of my homeboy's son, man, go ahead and knock him off for like two bands. Two bands? That can't do nothing. That that two bands gone. If you put two bands in my hand right now, that's gone. That's already spent. That ain't a month. That we we. I mean, in my hand right now, in two days, it's gone. It might be gone today. Today, you know, is it, at the end of the day, it might be gone today. Man, depends no, on depends on what the need is. If we being transparent, man, the car always need tires. Always need a little front end alignment or something. I need something going on with I the need car. Body work. I need I need a little something to little keep. Something. And then boom, I know I owe somebody. I right. probably owe the court. I got to pay the lawyer. Life this. bill. I'm in family court Water. right now. Water. Man, my life bill. Come on, dog. Two thousand dollars, man. That's nothing. Your That's life fair. is worth so much more. 
But I'm going to tell you what that two thousand dollars going to do. Burrow Kane wants you to take that two thousand. He ain't that no more. Mm. Whoever there, but I'm talking about the, the, the whoever who run the Angola right I now. I don't even remember. Whoever the new warden is, I he, he I don't like him. Okay. Whoever you is, Dana don't like you. I don't like you either. No, because he because he didn't tax the, the inmates higher. They they he he taxed the inmates higher. Not only that, he he, he if the rodeo sold out, they don't sell Hobby Lobby tickets anymore. Uh, so if the rodeo sold out, it's over with. You done drove and stood in this line and parked and got out and you can't even get in the prison. You know, that's to that's to discourage people from participating. But people like me and you and and, and some other ones who really love their loved ones, we're gonna ride for them. Yeah. We're gonna still come up there. The whole that year. Mean, <laughs> and, and, right, and that's yeah. that means we just have to plan a little bit in advance. You know. But Damn. But it, it 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 just is what it is. But back to the crime scene, cause you about to make me tell you shut the fuck up again. Mm -hmm. But back to the crime scene. Tell me scene. that shit again. You tell me that shit again, damn it. <laughs> tell me shut the fuck up. I need it this morning. What you got? You run. I said that, tell me. That, tell me. That um. I'm gonna make you tell me. That coffee kicked in. Tell me it didn't kick in. You see it? Yeah, but tell um, me shut the fuck up. So I I just won't hear it. Let me see. Can you shut the fuck up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, uh, like the, <laughs> one of the crime scenes that went on, uh, it's not just one, it's a lot. But um, something that echoes in my spirit, like I, that the, the job I leave with, somebody texted me the other day and said, I don't know how you do it. You know, how you go home and how you not do it. You know, I don't look at just the person that's dead. I look at the ripple effect On that is sides. about to mm -hmm. destroy families. Mm -hmm. Not just one person that's dead, that family is devastated, but not as murder him. His family is going to be devastated too because nine times out of ten, uh, can't pay for a defense lawyer. Mm -mm. Nine times out of ten, mama don't have a car to come and see you. Mm. Nine times out of ten, you, you know, in, in the in the in the areas that we're working, and it's it's completely like a third world country that you're dealing with when you get there. It's a whole you 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 walk across the street and you might be living totally different than what you just left. And them young has been going hard. To it's, pay. It's, you it's, heard. Is is this shit is 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 so heartbreaking because this is our future. These are the kids that <clears throat> it's of our generation. These these are kids who are supposed to be the next doctors and lawyers and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know professors. Yeah. And that means we need to change this educational system. We need to change. We need to take politics out of it. The bureaucracy. Yeah. We need more people who genuinely care about, about people. our people. Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah. Just, just <clears throat> bottom line. And it's, get the it's, fuck it's off not... Instagram and come to some of these meetings. I didn't know y'all. Man, I went to my first uh, school board meeting. I was like, what the fuck y'all talking about? Man, they be passing, and even at the council, dog, like when they did the shit with the, uh, with the homeless people. They be passing some bullshit right up under your nose and don't none of us be in there to say, oh, hell no. See, as long as the community don't get involved with the public service workers, they gonna do what they want, right. but I'm telling y'all right now, dog. It, I started at 30, bro, and I'm not. I know niggas will drop 60 on a nigga, but what I'm trying to tell you is, dog, the nigga that could drop 60 on you, you might not get your back in. You gotta get. You gotta get. Yeah, you nah, gotta you get. might not get. You might go do the work and not get your back in. Yeah, you sure, might, you might get killed too. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know that's what we don't come up pay on. You. That's what we come up on the man. I just gotta keep it G with you, yeah. dog. The dude that can afford 60. Instead of paying you 30, he got somebody over there to go ahead and, and take care of the back end for you. You better enjoy the front end and, and, and ask God to forgive you for what you did because you're over with. It just ain't nothing. Y'all we y'all poor, bro, and I know where y'all coming from. You're poor and you don't know how to shine. You don't know how to get the girls to look at you. You don't know how to get people to follow your Instagram and, and have it. But I'm going to tell you, that shit don't amount to nothing because a lot of people be popping on Instagram and be broke in real life. And they be running fake apps. <clears throat> yeah, they that run, shit don't the old, real. The old dudes get on the block and, and instead of them being OGs, well, not really OGs, instead of just being men mm -hmm. and ex talking about their experiences and being real with their experience because I'm not going to talk about nothing that I ain't been. I ain't going to talk about nothing that I ain't been through. I ain't going to talk about nothing that I'm not familiar with. I'm not an expert at or something that I have never experienced. I can't talk about it because mm -hmm. I'll be fake if I talk about it. Right. I can only talk about what I've been through, some experiences that I've felt. 
people that I know that's been through it and I've been there with them or this, that, and the third. But I can't talk about mm-hmm. country nothing club that living. I ain't been there. I don't I, know about country I, club I living. I don't know about that. I'll never play tennis. You know, but <laughs> but um, <coughs> our, our kids deserve better. Now, our, our, our kids deserve better. You know, you know this the truth. What I'm finna say. What? I know some. I know some old niggas, right? Like they up there with us, right? Jive. But I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. A lot of these niggas ain't start talking to the nigga they were scared of, went to jail or died. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Huh? I, I, Bobby died in my hood. I seen people I ain't seen in forever. N- I'm Rest talking. in peace to Bobby. Had a nigga on. <laughs> stay out the way, huh? I, 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 Nussie died. You seen people come out and, and talk, sh- you know, like, like, like Nussie said, bitch niggas happy. They can finally breathe. Yeah. You know, Man, they say, happy. Bro, watch who you looking up to, bro. Shh. Hey, bro, I, I don't want to tell y'all no gangster stories and y'all be like, no, no, say, bro, watch who you look up to. I've been let down by so many. The ones that, that didn't let me down, they gone from me. Right. And there's a few still standing, but them niggas so far out of the way and understand what I'm just learning to the T to well. The shit you trying to live by and the people you trying to impress, you got two weeks, my nigga. You go to jail or you die, you got two weeks. Man, I called my nephew. They tore his shit up. He fighting charges right now. Boy, everybody used to be over there. Guess who over there now? No one. No one. No one. There the motherfucker. The hoes gone. The niggas gone. Of course. There's some bitch ass gold digging niggas out here. <laughs> and I want to tell you hoe ass bopping ass niggas, you ain't shit either. They you, ought to be pregnant with twins. They ought to be pregnant with twins by now. Man, I'm seeing <laughs> <laughs> you niggas can't get money so bad. Y'all is dick riding the nigga with action, man. The nigga with motion. I see niggas like, Woo. yeah, man, a nice call, man. Ooh, let me see you watching, man. Man, get your, is you pregnant yet? Is you pregnant? <laughs> when your baby do? <laughs> then you don't know who your baby fucking you dick ride several so of them. so hard. Look, you do it backwards. <laughs> this some gold digger nigga. And, and get what? Niggas, Fuck it, D. Let's what a new nigga said. What a new, what a new generation. Can we trade these in? Man, them niggas, they're, they're, all them niggas missing is a little coochie, man. They, they, you throw a coochie on them niggas, man. Say, bro, the women came get to the nigga. Because they got two niggas in between. Say, bro, for real. Say, check this out. Man, this is how they be going. Big dog. <laughs> so, look, I just got out. You heard? Man, get that shit. <laughs> I don't try to destroy your dream. Say, bro. Let that woman. I'm trying to look at this lady booty right here for my girl. Walk up on me. I'm trying to chill, homie. Man, I'm talking about, man, say, bro. It's some, say, bro. It's some gold digging niggas. <laughs> In the world now, Craig. It's a difference with looking out and taking care of. I might as well F your old lady if I'm taking care of. I, that, and you know what? I, I, when he first said that shit, I was like, he going too far. Mm-mm. Nah, in you life. Understand. I swear to God, I wish I could see this up and tell him. Say, bro. Because if I got to take care of my house. <laughs> and you, nigga. And my good, my chair. I might as well go with And you. I got to help you pay your shit. Well, shit. What I get out of that? I might as well marry her. <laughs> yeah, they, they got some nigga with that paper. He in Come a poly. He in a poly. Polit- he's in a, in a multiple relationship. Because if I'm taking care of me, my girl, your girl, and this nigga girl. Uh, tell them women come over here and live with some stable living, man. Go on here and, and, and get from up under that pressure. Because you got the light bill finna be cut off every time, homie. And nigga, they say, bro, begging is not a motherfucking hustle. And all it's you not. roach ass rap niggas, dog. All you roach ass rap niggas, man. Bro, money, you can't rap without money, bro. That rap shit is straight money, homie. <laughs> you, yeah, you can't be no broke no broke person trying to rap thinking you finna get out the hood. You got to invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself. <laughs> Nussie said this one day, and it was so, he said he, he was mad at T.I. He met T.I. <laughs> was mad at him because... T.I., like, he threw he threw a CD in T.I. truck as he was leaving the club. And T.I. stopped the truck. Had the people stop the truck. Yeah. And he rolled the windows out. He said, say, come here. And he was like, say, man, you know how you talk. Yeah. Why, if you want me to listen to this, why would you hand me this? Why would you hand me this package like this? And I'm going to tell you something that's going to bust your head. He say, you, you, you want me to listen to you and invest in you, and you won't even invest in yourself. He mm. said, you handed me a CD you wrote. 
your name oh, on. I hate that Mark a lot. He said you wrote your name mm-hmm. on. He said, man, go go invest in you getting you some sleeves. You know, mm. go invest. And that's when he started fucking with you. Um, bro. That's you. You know, yep. you you and DJ Earl. Yeah. You know, that's and when he started shit, yeah. getting y'all getting his graphics and getting his stuff together. Mm-hmm. You know. I remember so, the uh, the Bell Pepper uh, CD when yeah. he first he, he was at a car. That show. was number five on the song, on the CD because he gave me the <laughs> CD. I said the new CD out. Yeah, play no fire. That's your song. <laughs> I listen to that song. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I say, oh, 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 you dirty bitch. <laughs> then he called his that baby mama was, and yeah. asked her with her, her friend getting a video. She said, yeah, if Dana get in it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hung up the phone on her then. Yeah, get the fuck out of mm-hmm. here. For real. But say, man, I'm telling you, bro. Fellas, y'all got to get better, bro, because I ain't going to lie, y'all. Man, bro, that's why I don't, even, I don't even speak to women no more. I don't look at them because y'all be trying to holler at all of them. I'm trying to tell a motherfucker the other day she dropped something. She think, bitch, I don't want you. I, my girl is expensive. You know what I'm saying? And then this is what I want to talk about too, Dana. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's talk about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> my young homies keep looking at I'm fucking. Zay, stop asking me about shade, bro, my best friend, man. You know what I'm saying? Because... I'm gonna tell you something. That's about twenty-five to three thousand dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? That 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 women come with bills. Sure do. Dana, don't ask me about Dana. Please dog. don't. Dana, Dana got a, a, a young baby man, and, and Dana, that's about twenty-five, thirty-five hundred dollars a month, my nigga. You over there can't get a four for four, and you, you worry about. Tr- don't. I'm I'm sorry, bro. I'm old, bro. I know about paying. I like paying bills, man. Cause guess what? One thing that you ain't got to ever worry about is when you pay for everything, nigga, you give yourself a certain power. You sure do. You heard me? And I ain't saying you just should abuse your power and treat people bad because you pay everything because that's a bitch-ass nigga. But you give yourself a value when you pay bills, homie. You That, that means that person is going to automatically want to be loyal to you. That person is automatically going to want to do that. Uh, that thing is automatically going to jump when daddy <laughs> walk in the house. Smart women will. That fool going to be cooked when oh, daddy walk through that house. Look, look, look. Oh, that, I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh. Clo- come babe. On. Come on now. Come on, man. Speak it's about it. What happened? Automatically she done got hot nigga talking about paying <laughs> bills. <laughs> Say, bro, I done tried it all. Say, bro, I done tried going hell. <laughs> I'm telling my old nigga, I done tried. I done lived with a woman. But I don't like the way that shit feel, Dana. Right. Something in me. Like, I wasn't there alone, man. I'm talking about, even when I, I, I don't, if I fall off and go back by my mama, bro, I got to pay bills, bro. I got to. Either, everywhere you go, you're going to have to pay I bills. I pay bills, broke, homie. Let me tell you something, bro. You got to get the fuck off that game and go get you some paper, man. Because, see, a Nick, that's why y'all be in that domestic shit. Your girl got the car. She got the license. She ain't got no bench one. She got the steady job. <laughs> she got the credit. She got all that shit. And, and, and then when she say get the fuck on, you ain't got nowhere to go. Now you won't kill her. No, bitch ass nigga. Get on your shit. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? And ladies, some of these niggas will completely take care of you to have complete control of you, baby Most girl. Definitely. Fuck him. You better get your own black sister. You better get your own black brother. You know what I'm saying? So get what? When that girl's still talking crazy and you pay all the bills around that bitch, are oh, you done with me? Are oh, you having a little, you, you feeling some type of way? Bet. Go get your own shit. You feel what I'm saying? Most definitely. Go get your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Can't pay bills if you do. If you don't have an income, the end is that. Yeah, that, that means they got to get some income. Do something. They have too many programs. They got the MJ Foster program right now that's paying for people to go to school. What that is? The, if Mike, the, the Mike J- Foster. What's the age? I can go in there old like Eight, 18 or whatever. Oh, shit. I'm, so I'm, I'm talking about, and it's for, it's, it's for um, building the economy of Louisiana. Mm. You know, you, you get money. here at freedom money. And it's about mm. interpre- interpre- entrepreneurship. They, they paying. They paying for that. Free. Then they have another program at Baton Rouge Community College for uh, 17 year olds, under 17. You know, there's there's, uh, also like a dual enrollment for them. They have an 18 um, year old program for young adults who, you know, school is just not for. They can get a high sit, which is now the GED. They can get a high sit and also get um, a trade. 
Damn. the same time. So by the time they finish, like in a nine month or a year period, it depends on what course uh, action that you're gonna take. Mm-hmm. But you you're able to have a, a your diploma with your high sit plus a um a trade degree, and then you're able to go directly into the workforce. Young girl, I'm gonna tell y'all that I'm really talking. I'm, I'm really nan nan boo boo with my daughter right now. But God bless my baby. Check this out. Don't go have them, baby. Cause guess what, man? I'm one of them old daddy. This man say that's why the world messed up. Now when women start thinking they wear the pants, now we f for life because all the women alpha females, but y'all made us that way. Hmm? I ain't an alpha. Me. I ain't an alpha female if I got a man that's in my life. Now it's submissive. Watch, watch was the two sides though. Yeah. See, you ain't gonna feel this, Dana, and and I know why because you don't have alpha. no son. I ain't alpha. See. A lot of these women is raising bitch ass niggas. First of all, y'all right. running them daddies off, and you ain't letting them be around no males. The uncles okay. ain't picking them up. He don't even know how to coexist with niggas. He don't know how to be in the room with with men. Like you know right, what I'm saying? Dude. It's a it's a it's a science to it all. But when you re- raising a weak man that sit on the game, who watches mama bring all the groceries in and clean up the house by herself and. And, and cook for him and, and, and do everything for him, you making a, uh, you crippling your son. Make a man out that motherfucker. Make, get that motherfucker chores and make him have to go do shit and realize that you got to get your ass up and go earn something, homie. Ain't nothing gonna come in your world free like that. You can't sit on the game like these niggas who be selling drugs or these rap niggas. You can't do it, homie. You got to get your ass up and go make some money. And then guess what? This is the other problem you niggas have that ain't nobody want to talk about. You got too many motherfucking ops. So now you can't go work in a public place because your op gonna catch your ass at the motherfucking produce stand and flip your motherfucking ass, ass down. Sit your man. Ass down. You see what I'm saying? Fuck all that op shit, man. Tell a nigga you is opless. I don't fuck with ops. No. Messy niggas. Who that is? I know. I'm just saying. You talking about too many ops? Yeah, that's messy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate messy niggas. I thought niggas said something. Man. I'm telling you. Oh, no. And look, some of y'all got so many ops because you got you you not utilizing your time right. You sitting on Instagram. I know niggas right now mad because a nigga says something to a nigga girl or a nigga flirt with a nigga girl. Nigga, if that motherfucker pretty and fine, I'm my girl know and, and she know right now I'm looking at booty and I'm going to look at her face. I'm going to look at the motherfucking woman. Now, I can't do all that other shit, but what I'm saying is if you got a pretty girl, nigga's going to like her, dog. Let her handle her own business and see how she handle her own business. She know how to handle it. If a nigga go too far, then get in the mix. And then some if of you they niggas ain't looking at your girl. Yeah. Get you a new one. Hey, all that old tender ass shit. That don't look, y'all, y'all, y'all little kids, bro. Y'all be trying to. You do not own a woman. Talking about that's you, nigga. That woman can go do whatever she want, homie. You do not own no woman. You know what I'm saying? You, you get tied up, man. Guess what, bro? You gotta keep it player at all times, bro. Cause guess what? A grown motherfucker gonna do what they want to do. A human go you we do not own no humans. This ain't Angola. You is not the the, 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 the uh warden to where you own a woman. If my girl won't go, baby, I don't want you to leave me. But go ahead and go. I know ahead. you wanna leave me. That nigga did, but he but started it. I don't refuse. You, you won't go, go ahead. Please go. I'm Adrian Bagger. If you won't leave me, what you do? If you Come won't on. Leave Go ahead and go on. Why? Why? Because I'm a good man, baby. Ooh, we baby. And good men don't stay single long. <laughs> don't stay single long. Say, bro, that's about building yourself up, that's though. Right. Because if you build yourself up enough, a woman can't play on your top like that, man. Right. Woman, females, if you build yourself up, see y'all be trying to run to that nigga with the bag, but everybody running to that same nigga. And when I know probability and odds, it sound like a STD to me. Everybody want the same person. It's about 30 of y'all want the same person. He gonna run through as many as y'all as he can. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you gotta find the things that are golden, that are organic, that are natural, man. Fuck with people who fuck with you. See, when a motherfucker fuck with me when I ain't got nothing, it turns me on. And that's a motherfucker I want to pop it off and break it off with. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm begging you. What, what, what you got to do? What you got, man? Tell me how much you need. How much you need? You ain't tell me nothing. Here go two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, man. Make your value be something else, man. Because guess what? They got somebody out there. They got tricky niggas out there. <laughs> 
daddies. Sugar daddies, man. Say, bro, it's competitive. Gold daddies. Work husbands. Big daddies. <laughs> Big daddies. <laughs> Juvis. <laughs> Y'all the boys leave me alone, man. I was in the comment. <laughs> I, I, I posted something. Something was on Ghetto Ways, man. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I looked in the comments and the dude say, who is that with the red hair? I go on his page. He's 17, 18. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Stop that, playing with that, me. That's how I was when I was young. <laughs> to manage. Yeah, man, I, I used to be, uh, let me take your trash out. <laughs> I ain't had no money. I was working at McDonald's. <laughs> let me take your trash out. Ooh, I let me get that for you. Chair. Let me get that for you. See, in Kuda May, I used to be like, oh, let me get that for you, man. You ain't got to take that all the way. And then start flirting. Talking about, yeah, like I remember uh, one time they t- <laughs> Somebody brought this shit. I forgot I did this shit. You whipped it out on? I drew it out on it. Oh, my look God. That. She, she, look, I used to be yes, ma'am, no ma'am until they start flirting. You know I'm 16, so it's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you had gone ahead with your little self before I do you something. With that pretty hair? Yeah. yeah. That pretty hair and that, 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 that look, Indian skin? I think she won because she was like, you ain't got nothing down there anyway. She yeah, drew that little bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. What's oh, the word she said, oh. <laughs> she wasn't ready. Superman. She, she wasn't ready. Superman. All right, the world's for the day. I ain't like that no more, y'all. <laughs> he still like that. 16 years old. He just in a relationship. I was horny. Yeah. You man, that, you ever be in heat? We ain't gonna talk about that. Wasn't nothing enough, man. <laughs> encumbrance. encumbrance. The word for today is encumbrance. That means before, right? Somebody before or sitting? No, it means a burden or impediment. Spell it. E-N-C-U-M-B-R-A-N-C-E. Encumbrance. Encumbrance. Also, it has a mortgage or other charge on a property assets. Thank you, brother. And a person, especially a child, who is dependent on someone else for support. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) hold on. Trey, play too much. Trey's stupid, bro. (laughs) Tracy, when you say you drew down, she come back and say, not the 22. And all in my mind, all I heard was pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Fuck you and Trey. Could he gave me a 38 Ooh, round. Yeah. Right, it's a 22. Fuck it. It's a chopper. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Tell Trey I said my God, brother. <laughs> Oh, seeing his God brother, he was like, now see how he playing on Sam's top? I love you, man. My bad, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. She started it. Pew, pew, pew. It's a 22. Ooh, woo. Man, man, man. Hey, bro. In this world, man, y'all got to make sure y'all stay on top, man. I'm telling you, man. Ooh. Stay on top, man. They got some paragraphs in that motherfucker. That's man. Patrice just put the definition up there for the pen or comment. Of what? With the definition of the word of the day. Um, bro. Patrice, yo, love you, Tree. Buffy. <laughs> and comments. I love Learn Trey to too. Trey, fuck you, the Trey. You son of my motherfucker. As if to rid itself of incompetence. <laughs> okay. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> the assistant, the assault rifle illegal, and I'm the only one with the key. Talk about Sid. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. It, it got a switch on the train. <laughs> no, she says assault rifle. <laughs> TMI, motherfucker. TMI. <laughs> when he started, he opened the door for that. See? Don't start no shit, Don't won't be no shit. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I forgot to cross the word out. Yeah. Man, 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 man. Look, check this out, man. We really enjoyed y'all today. Make sure not, not, uh, I'm waiting on the people up top to get back with me. We finna start doing promotions. Um, we're gonna be doing products on this show. If you got a product and you need it, uh, promote it. We're gonna start doing product. See what mine say? Don't text your ex. (laughs) Message. (laughs) <laughs> man, my exes be mad because I really move on. Yeah, let people be mad at that. Like, and they then I'm supposed to see baby mamas. Oh, they the ones, I am, huh? I am co-parent of the I'm year. I'm a good baby mama. Man, I, I feel like I don't know what kind of baby dad I am. I think I'm a good one, but it's like everybody want beef. Everybody want beef. Motherfucker got a million reasons not to be with a nigga as soon as I give you everything you want and leave. I'm yeah. the worst person in the world. I done yeah. did you the ball. I done did all the wrong to you. Look, you send all the money. 
money and everything. You got to spend time. You send time. Uh, you ain't uh, got no money? No, no. The money still be there, too. They be like, oh, she can't come today. She can't do this, this, and that. So guess what, fellas? I'm going to tell you all the, the perfect solution for all that shit. Get your shit together. Pay off all your warrants and take them motherfuckers to trial. Stay with your baby mamas. If you can. Yeah. If, if, if you can't, make sure you know who you made your babies with. Because my baby daddy, I tell you, I ain't lying. I've been a single mama. Ooh, and it's hard. Yeah. My oldest child, I ain't gonna tell my age, but my oldest child will be 26. Uh-uh, run them 17 year olds off. Yeah. Oh, I do run them off. Yeah, that woman got a 26 year old dog. 26 year old child. She'll be 26 on the 24th. <laughs> Person just turned 20. Yeah. And I got a little six year old. Mm-hmm. That's my baby. 3,500 a month. Uh, she more than that. Start now. Yeah, got to hit. Then yeah. she got businesses and shit. You got businesses. Yeah, you got to buy C malls and, and food and shit. Insurance. Do. Insurance. Yeah. C malls. Yeah, all that. Yeah. yeah. Invest in that. Yeah, and she got place to go and get her wage. You can't be tender, man. Can't be. You know what I'm saying? They got and she got fan base. You can't be one fight kid and get mad at nobody. You know, cause she on display. Niggas gonna see. What Damn. up, Pap? Oh man. What Pap that is? Dixie Pap. What's him? What's up, Pap? <laughs> it made your day, Dana. Yeah, that's Squalor Nephew. Huh, bro? Yeah, old Pep. Yeah, man. Shout out to Squally yeah. Poe, man. Love the Poe, man. God bless you, Squally. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. We finna start running ads on uh, Getaway. <laughs> man, we looked at something the other day. Getaway, I think, had like nine million something. Hits. It was crazy. But this <laughs> what I need every follower of mine, every follower of Getaways to do. Y'all get out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please. We got people who who in places that they can't watch us live. They you know they can always go on YouTube. Like those that's in the can. Shout out to all my brothers that's in the can. Shout out to all my loved ones that's in the can. Um, free y'all. For as long real. as you ain't rat or rape no cheering. Free or get free. Yeah. You know. Or rape anybody. Anybody. Yeah. We yeah. we we um we definitely. My heart goes out to those who are incarcerated. Um, you you may be gone from from this society, but you're never forgotten, you know. Yeah. And I might not write, but I will bump five. Yeah, and we we working too, man. We yeah. really working on some stuff, man. And we can't talk too much about it because the enemy is is very skilled and pragmatic, yep. and, they, and they take time to try to destroy. They trying to t- they trying to take down getaways, y'all. But I want y'all to know that getaways is community news. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for Dana. It's not for the owners of or the or the shareholders. It's for the community. It's for the community. Because I want to quit. You know what I'm saying? The streets told me not to quit, man. Can't quit. And, and people was trying to support, man. Shout out ABM Fat, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this thing wouldn't even be rolling if it wasn't for people like ABM Fat. And I just gotta keep it real. And you make sure y'all stop at Scenic Market, man. It's a family store, good people. Good people. In, in, Shout out in, to T-Bone. In the hood. In the hood, man. Yeah, T-Bone, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, T-Bone. Uh, T-Bone, yeah. Just, just say it right. Shit, yeah, T-Bone, man. Say it right, Dana. Wrong T. Wrong, wrong one. one. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. I'm sorry, T-Bone. <laughs> Big brother. It's a lakeside, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Khalil and, and moms and all them, man. Yeah. Shout out to them. And, and, and Ghost, man. My dog, man. Libra gang. You already know. What up, Randy? Um... Man, Fat was running, keeping this thing running with Ty, bro. You know what I'm saying? My my, my other people, man, they were, they were keeping that mud rolling, man. And, and thank y'all, man, because it's still rolling. And community news is yours. When you have something that's going on, submit it. Let us know. People starting to submit from out of town, y'all. Yes, and, Houston. And Getaway's going to be a Diego. national brand. Yeah, that's and, why we need y'all to follow our, our uh, YouTube, our follow YouTube everything. And Facebook. Tumblr, Twitter. We work on Spotify. Yep. I, Apple Music. And uh, if you got any show ideas, hit me or Eugene Collins up. We looking for people that, that got shows that don't have the budget to shoot. Now you bring it to getaway is gonna be a getaway show, but you won't have to you won't have to pay for uh production. production. You know what I'm saying? And uh you just adding on to more things to the community. We're looking for education, but it gotta be entertaining. You know our people, you gotta talk shit. Like, that's how we communicate. You got to talk a little shit, then you got to teach a nigga something. That's how we do things here. <laughs> we out. Today's right, show was beautiful. It was wonderful. Y'all energy was off the chain. I woke up later. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, you rolling your eyes red. Um, that's why them little boys like you spicy. You spicy, man. They better go play with their mama. <laughs> they going to 
play, play with, with you. Me. Can't do the thing to my mama. <laughs> Can't do them to me either. Shit. <sighs> but thank um, y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all be able to catch this show on my page and get away page too. And every show, did, like today's Monday, next Monday. Um, it'll be on YouTube. It may be a little behind, but it, it eventually comes out on, okay. on YouTube. Yeah. It's on me, y'all. I've been behind on editing. It's okay. Any editors out there, hit me up. I'm telling you. All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs>